Hello, greetings. Thank you for joining us for tonight's communication. All right. Uh, let's see, it's like 1030 tonight. So, um, yeah, last night was a little bit heavy, but uh, I was asked for, I felt good about much going into it, a little bit more detail. As you know about the world, it is easier to heal it, at least over time. Um, so I have an idea. I'm going to bring in a couple of beings. Um, I have an idea what, at least who's going to come, at least. Uh, I had a dream. I see, I had two dreams. I don't remember the second. Helicopters flying around. Good timing for that, huh? Um, I had a dream of Bill Gates last night. So, yeah, our Illuminati meeting last night. <laughs> Actually, I felt positive Illuminati around me today, and that's a rare, uh, a rare treat. So, uh, I'll go around. Well, either way, I feel a change is in the air. For a good change, yeah, I guess the stock market kind of tanked today, but, or yesterday. Who cares? Uh, it's going to go up and down, that's the way it goes. Um, I guess we have a new, uh, uh, new Fed person, whatever, I don't know, chairman or blah, blah, Illuminati henchman. So that's probably the reason for it. I, I haven't watched it that closely. Of course, the doomsdayers are already said, oh, I kind of, I mean, Nobody can really predict the future. I mean, I'm not seeing it. Of course, my great um, Super Bowl prediction was kind of way off, but that was like dead on. Like, but then things shifted. So I, I don't remember what connected something that strong. <laughs> so I didn't feel a change after that. So the economy, either way, I mean, nobody always knows the f future, but I am not seeing it. Uh, Collapse. I believe, I believe we're on the summer, it's going to go up and down. It might get kind of scary during the summertime. It was up to north. So it might be preparing for a summer scare. But I wouldn't put any, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to do what it's going to do. There are new economies being built online and other places. I'm not sure where, but I'm not sure where the other places are. But uh, it's... Just the way it is, cause some scares. It's been going up quite a bit recently, so. Um, yeah, there was something else in the news, but I don't remember, so I'll just leave it at that. Oh yeah, Simon Parks was on uh, Project Camelot, and he said that we are still in the third dimension. I feel like we are in, we are going into the fourth dimension. Uh, like we're in the like early stages of it. I think we've been here for a long time, actually. You can say around 2012, obviously before that. Because uh, from what my perspective is, that a lot of these technologies would not really coexist with us without the fourth dimensional energies. That's my my intake on it. So take it with that grain of salt. But that's what I'm getting on it. So. Um, uh, AI technologies, whatever it might be, just it's been gradually, you know, around the 1970s, kind of computer technologies. You say computer technologies, that's where the fourth dimension energy is kind of road, you know. That's my that's my my take on it. So, I mean, computers used to be a big room, and now they're on a small phone. So, take, you know, I mean, everybody has their own connections, that's fine, but uh, I just can't, uh, I'm just looking for a time when we have our own spaceships in our house, I mean, I won't be here, but, you know, the way I look at NASA, it's like, man, was that stupid? <laughs> it's like, I got, a, I got a spaceship in the back, in the back, yeah, in the backyard. <laughs> It's just my car. I just turn the button. I'm in space. You know, no big deal. So, <laughs> that's a joke, but you know everything. Well, I came in. What is it? Uh, I mean, isn't it like a printer, like a printing press? It's like no, everybody has that in their home. I mean, am I connecting to that correct? I mean, it's not obviously not a printing press to print newspapers, but it's pretty close to it. I mean, you can make up something with it. So, 
So things change. So either way, um, let's see anything else. Yeah, let's keep this one. Well, I got channel he's coming through, so we'll, uh, yeah. Uh, I do have an announcement, nothing major. Uh, oh yeah, the phone app might get a chat. I'll go into that when we get when I'm done with this. Uh, Ivantar.com. This site I'm going to be migrating to a new platform. So this will still exist. So basically, I have to, you know, move the domain to another server system, basically. So uh, this will still exist here. It'll just have a different domain. So the new one, I'll link back to this one. So I'm going to do this probably around tomorrow night. So basically, if I can get all the, the basics, you know, basically the store, um, the store migrated, that's really what this is all about. This will probably take the longest in a private session area. It probably won't take that long. So it might be a down for a little bit Wednesday night, at least Eastern time around. Probably, I'm probably going to yeah, work on it pretty early because I want to get this thing moved over. Uh, the reason for it is because of this area, the shop. The idea is for it to be, it's not an easy... It's okay. It's kind of confusing. So my plan is to have a, a spirit, you know, a, a member. Basically, you can log in when you make a per, create an account. Log in, make your purchase. So the first time you create an account, that'll be the hardest work you gotta do. So it'll be like Amazon, basically. You just log in and choose what you want, and that's that. And also the plan for it is to have like a little form here so you can just put your question in, hit add to cart, put how many you want, and that is that. You know, you copy in your questions and that is how it's going to roll. That will be with all of these here. Right now, and it should be a pretty easy, now this is an easier uh, purchase, but that is the plan for all of these. It's what probably session area will stay the same. So things are just going to be moved around. It won't be that dramatic. But the reason for it is to make this easier. Because right now it's kind of ridiculous. You get an email, and on the email has a web form. You fill that out. I mean, once you know that, that's all right. It's not a big deal. But the idea is to make this an easier process. So to make everything just a simpler um system so this is why i'm doing it so i found a i found a service that um i'm going to test it out if it does if it sucks i'll go back to this one uh but if it's all right i'm going um the reason i chose them is because they they're all about e-commerce and they have support that's pretty decent and not to say i have a big e i mean it's basically just for this page basically so so that's what, and the and also for the webinar membership area, uh, I have more options. I can do more stuff with it. So I might I have other plans also for it for more information, not from me, but links to other information I thought about using too. So we'll see. So right now um, I have some plans. I'm thinking so. Uh, Basically, you go to ivanteller.com. It won't just be Ivan's stuff. I'm planning to have other, you know, resources possibly. We'll see how things go. Right now, I just want to migrate this thing and see what happens. So, uh, right now, we have uh, private sessions uh, open this week for the most part. And this is the calendar. There's uh, Google Hangouts, Skype, Zoom, and channeling by phone. It's all recorded. You can do as you wish with it. So obviously, we have this store here. I'm about, I'm thinking I'm on Friday right now. So I'm doing pretty good on speed. I'm doing going as quickly as possible. By, yeah, Wednesday night, th by Thursday, the majority of the site should be back to normal. Now, for the, um, as for the Oracle cards, that's going to take 
I'll add that as I can. So now this stuff here will probably take a little bit. And this might all be reorganized. So, uh, oh yeah, we have the Jake comic. Jake issue three is going to be completed this week or next week. I believe this week. Who's the artwork? So it'll be a while before that's fully launched. We also have Oracle cards. We have a new store here also if you're interested. It's a little bit easier than the other one, but if you can manage the other one, that's cool too. They're both open, so. I think my internet's just slow, but either way, um, it's up to you. And yeah, thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support and all this. Um, yeah, the weird world, yes, this is insane, but uh, well, you're just gonna have to start getting used to it. People are gonna call us crazy, but then again, you look at how the modern world is, it doesn't make much sense when you really look at it. And Spirit Social, I have an update for this also. Here, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna just go through, we have, um, I'll go through this in a second. Yes, my question, you know, past life regression. Uh, I switched from Yeshua Channel Consulting, five minute healing. Um, one question from a day, Shocker Healing from a day, Joe Greggy from Miguel, and uh, Healing from Nick, and uh, other services from Yosium. No. Um, and this is for her also, I didn't add her name, but these are all her projects here. Um, one thing I did here, uh, now this, you could create a, an account, oh, hopefully, and, uh, or you can create an account and it'll have your information. And I made this process a little bit easier, finally. <laughs> uh, so may, now I have one form here, you basically put your list of questions here, uh, it has kind of an example. You can barely see. Oh, I can barely see it here. But it's copy and paste your questions into form, add to cart, and order the quantity on the following page. So then you go. Oh yeah, just yeah. Anyway, you go add to cart, and then if you have a list of questions here, you just add your quantities here, and and you go to the checkout or PayPal, whatever you wish. And so I made the steps a little bit. I finally fixed that. <laughs> and all of them should have this. So just a form. You know, I have to put your email in everything. I finally got the I finally got the kinks out of it. So um you already have an email already submitted through the site, so yeah, you would have a I didn't know I had a rating there. That's awesome. <clears throat> So I just noticed that that's from September. <laughs> so um, so that's the system here. We also have a social network, 5D Spirit Crew, and you can uh, log in. Anybody can create an account. And uh, we have some interesting links here. Definitely will promote. Oh yeah, this is the people of Earth. That's pretty, that was pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, and this is when I had SNL stuff. That was a good one. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know they made an, uh, anyway, that's, that's the golden age of SNL. That's when it was funny. I'm not sure what it's doing anymore. So, um, all right. Thank you everyone for your support of this, uh, channel of the insane. I don't usually look at the numbers. I try to stay away from all of that. I don't want to be influenced by what comes through. So uh, what, I mean, somebody suggests something. That's why I don't have it like a suggestion, like a poll, who would like to connect with. I would normally do that, but I've been leaving it open to see what we have. I only have a limited at a time, so much energy. Um, one of these days I'll do longer connection, longer videos, but I do one every day, so. It's something, <laughs> hopefully for somebody, hopefully it brings a, a checklist of what is real in the world. Yes, those in the third dimension don't believe in any of this because they're very third dimensional. Uh, fourth dimension energies are coming through stronger little by little as humans heal. It's like a, it's a, a gentle awakening, you can say, or for some it's not always gentle, but. If you have a, a reptilian breathing down your throat, okay, maybe that's not, well. <clears throat> um, 
there was something else, but I forgot. Oh yeah, the web app. Well, it's on the site. Uh, the web app. I don't even know if I have it on this phone. Anyway, uh, the idea might be tomorrow. Uh, it depends on how. F um, yeah, I don't have it here. So maybe I'm. Um, it's going to have possibly maybe it's maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll have chat features on it, and I'll have a social network thing on there. It comes with the system. I'd upgrade it, but that didn't cost anything. Just so that should be interesting. I, yeah, like I said, I believe there was a cost there at one time, and they lifted it because it was kind of stupid to do that. So, uh, just another way to communicate, find new people, whatever. Either way, I'll be there if anybody has any use for it. If you're anti Facebook, uh, it's it's another way to contact me. Also, at least an attempt to contact me. So. Um, yeah, Facebook is kind of like a long maze. So, so that is, um, so yeah, my website's going to be switched over. It feels like it's the best way to do it. I found something new and it's like, hmm. So I want to make the process for submitting questions a lot easier. And also it's signing into the webinar should be a lot easier. It should work with this. I, mean, I have Weebly right now and Weebly is like, they don't really do anything with it. It's not very, it's just kind of dull. <laughs> Not to say what well, I'm going to go is all exciting, but at least I can customize it with this. Weebly, is, it's been all right. I've had it for about almost a year. And it's been good. But um, we'll see. If this doesn't work, I'll switch back. But I think it'll be all right. But I mean, I have support, uh, security, stuff I didn't have before last, before I switched to Weebly. So it has a new uh, system for. Um, I believe it does for a um, webinar. Joining a webinar should be a lot easier also. So I have different uh, different ways of joining that. So so this might be the most reliable. I've been looking for membership systems. And they all suck. They're either are super expensive or they're just horrible. So the one I had, I got grandfathered in. The guy charges 30 bucks for it. And I don't have to pay that. And the guy never emails me back. It's like, and the instructions are terrible. I'm not sure if it's even compatible with Weebly. The other way it doesn't matter. So, all right. So enough of that. Uh, there was something else, but I don't remember what it is. But all right, we're going to connect. I think I have an idea. It's going to come through. It should be quite fascinating. Changes in the air, as I said. Um, just feel just. Um, it might be rabbit season, whatever, whatever season it might be. So, which all blessings? Here we go. Greetings, this is Agent N. With the men in black, blessings to you and our communications on your planet. Yes, we are, yes, broadcasting to you. On a positive note, the best thing we want to do is bring any difficulties to your society. Realize this, you're very much connected to your society. Just not seen by it for good reason. Ah, uh, yes, your, your SpaceX vibration that's going through, yes, that is most excellent. As for your society, you fully connected to your space travels energies with unlikely anytime soon, but your Illuminati energy friends, the super friends, Illuminati friends, are allowing this to come through in your environment. 
But of course, they're going to put a big price tag on. If you want to go to space, you better pay us. Yes, the economy is kind of trenching in certain areas, but your space programs are going to increase. So expect big taxes on that. But also, uh, the energies of the Illuminati vibrations, yes, they keep your their vibration. Understand their reality is much different than yours. You're in a third dimension reality. Their, their reality is, well, different than yours. So they are, yes, you are their... their puppets is one way of putting it and of course they're not going to be seen by our reality because you're of such a low vibration now some of you have seen them and sometimes it's pleasant sometimes it's not and yes as you become more curious i would guess what well, many of you might feel that there's many eyes looking at you and because it is as for where you are going in the society it is up to you many of you are graduating to more of a fourth dimensional vibration as you're not giving us a hard time, which we much appreciate. And some of those third dimensional humans on your world are unlikely to switch sides, at least to go into the fourth dimensional mentality thinking is because they're far from ready for it. Yes, and your Super Bowl energies, that is one of the most manipulated holidays on your world. To, yes, you keep your humans in check. Also, to make sure to see who humans are. Basically, let's put it this way. Who tunes into the Super Bowl? That's also like a reality check for the Illuminati to know who's connected to the third dimension and who is kind of not. Do you see where I'm going with this? And also, it goes to your World Cup. Your World Cup of Yes is much more relaxed. But that's not why I'm here to talk about that. As your it's like your Illuminati owners are just saying, I want to see my servants bow down to me or follow my, my lead, you can say. Not realizing, you know, they were there, but not seen, of course. As they can hover around that place and not be seen. They do fly, some of them do. Most of them choose not to, but they're also seeing where you are at. Now, understand, they have no problem. If you want to awaken to the fourth dimension, they don't have a problem with that. Some beings might have difficulties with that. And some of those are reptilian. Some just want, they want you in their playground so some beings get angry. But realize also, they're more than welcome for you to awaken. They like to see what you are up to. They like to see what, how you act and what you would do. Of course, they already have an idea of it, but they like to see it play out. So realize what, what you are going through here. As for what I am here, is to check in and say hello and give you some feedback of what's going on in your planet. Yes, these holidays are just to see who's going to follow the leader. Let's put it that way. And many are, yes, absorbed into the third dimension, and that is fine. That just shows who is being played and who wishes not to be played. And many of you are, are not one to be a part of that. And life is getting difficult, isn't it? And we commend you for your awakening as we are going to help, unlikely. As for I cannot allow, I can't be, I can't. Well, I can do this, but that's about it. As some of us, are of the, yes, I might be allowed to assist. Uh, but most of us are told to stay away from you. But... You know, if you want to talk to us, we'd be happy to talk to you. Of course, our conversations might not be always the best if we scan your brains and things of that sort. But some of you do have a, a lovely personality. Let's put it that way. I must be going now. Have a nice day, humans. And thank you for tuning in.
Greetings to you. I am Michael. My energies and vibrations go to you. And realize forgiveness will lift you from depression. Forgiveness of others and yourself. A forgiveness for humanity as cruel as it is to each other. A forgiveness of this planet. As this even Mother Earth sometimes gives in to lower vibrations. As you see indulging also in what he meant. Realize also your Mother Earth does get involved with the world. She doesn't just sit around and just... She gets involved with all aspects of learning. I don't believe many of you truly connect with that. All expressions of vibration, positive or not so positive. She's along long for the ride. She wants to be a part of this also. Some of you might not agree with that, but realize that, understand you are in a third dimensional world and so is she. So she is here to indulge in all the vices and all the positives along with you. So if you're at a bar and you feel her vibration around, don't be surprised. Some of you might reject that energy, but realize also she's there to experience it along with you. Yes, nature is where she replenishes herself and refreshes, but also realize as much low vibrations in the skies because of Yes, the chemtrailing that's going on in your world. Realize also you're going through a transition of awareness. As you go into your vibration of change, as you always are, but there are sometimes years of great change. As some of you light workers will become more known in your public's eye, as you wish to be heard through your message, your healing, as this is the year of awakening that you are awakening others and all three here to strengthen some of those might not agree what you're doing but also that's there to bring you strength as you know what you are doing is right and to connect with that as your light is going to share among others and help unite this planet as every voice is needs to be heard and will be heard as for where the, the think of words as Think of it as water, as an ocean coming from you. And different oceans are connecting to each other, different vibrations of consciousness. They're all blending together. You might not always agree with each other, but you're still blending in together. So you, your message is heard. Even if you do not make it public, it's still heard. But when you are out in, a, in this environment, trust me, you are, there are many beings around you actually assisting you to be seen publicly. You're just not always seen. The consciousness is there. You're connecting it in the astral. You're setting yourself up to be seen, to be heard, to receive, to give. As for what this society, yes, the third dimension is, yes, going to get harder on light workers in some degree because their, their belief systems are going to slowly drift apart because you realize what they are believing in oh, even when they say what you believe in makes no sense look what they what they believe in makes no sense either now does it not at all of course what they believe in has a lot of negativity around it most of the light worker community is connected to a positive vibration some of you are connected to lower energies but that is some of that is shadow work there's nothing wrong with that but you are opening up your your doorways to new possibilities as many are having difficulty seeing. So you are turning on the lights in a place that usually has darkness and that is a third dimensional belief systems. As their belief system can only go so far, yours goes out and everywhere. And everywhere it wants to go, it's like you're flying. And a third dimension mentality is stagnant, like a statue. And I'll show you the statues do move. They do, they wink, they smile, but in third dimension, it's hard to see it, but they do. So many of you are letting the earth awaken. Not to say those in the third dimension mentality, they are too, but some of them are afraid to, to let go of the shackles, to let themselves out. Many of you feel that, don't you? The earth is going through a major transition. As yes, it will be hard, but it's also going to be enlightening that you know where you are going is correct. Not this, and you're just giving a new point of view to those who are having difficulty seeing that. 
You are shaking things up. And that is what you're here to do. I send you my blessings. I am Michael. All right. Take care, everyone.